Today, we're going to be reacting to my cringy ass old Instagram growth videos. If you guys don't know, in 2017, I made these videos on how to grow on Instagram and they went viral. I think some of them got like 1.5, 2 million views. This really blew up my channel. A lot of you guys watching this video might have came from those videos now. I think at the time I was a 16 year old girl trying to give some social media facts. Looking back, I might have just been a lost high schooler that was trying to get views. So <laughs> we'll see what really happened. I haven't seen these videos in so long. I actually try to run away from watching these videos. Whenever I see my old thumbnails just pop up, I just, my plan is to react to the videos and see if I still agree with these social media tips I gave and maybe we can see what the hype was really about. All right, let's go with the first one. We're gonna watch how to grow on Instagram to 5K. Off the bat, I hate the thumbnail so much. 1.3 million views three years ago. Okay, let's see what this bitch is all about. Guys, are you tired of seeing these other YouTubers tell you BS on how to grow on Instagram? Whoa, whoa, <laughs> hold up. What the fuck is going on in my room? Do you guys see that character development? That room looks like a high schooler that just broke up with her boyfriend. My room right now looks like I can't afford furniture and I just don't want to furnish my room. But let's go rewind a little bit. I just don't know why I look like I'm always out of breath. I'm so confused why I look like that. Like, why do I just like feel so like laid back, but like also confused, but also like you can tell that I'm not really looking into the camera. I definitely made this at 5 p.m. on like a Friday night when my homework was due. I've been really excited just to get this video started again i create videos that you ask me like i get questions all the time on instagram nobody asked you <laughs> give this video a like and subscribe it would really really support my channel Creative. you know i should learn from this girl i don't really ask people to subscribe to my channel anymore i think i just stopped trying to be a youtuber but it did work so make sure you guys give this video a like and subscribe this video <sighs> they're so so girl where's your inhaler <laughs> Like, I literally sound like I'm having an asthma attack. Like, why am I so out of breath? And frankly, this video is not going to be for you if you're not patient because I actually want to give you value. My goal is to literally take your passion to turn it into a career. Whoa! Okay, this bitch is ambitious, first of all. I think that was a genuine statement, but why did I sound so sassy? I sound like one of those mean girls. POV, I'm bullying you in high school. Hey, Cassandra, if you're not patient, get the fuck out of my fucking schoolroom. Why do I look so mean? Say, make sure you have a patient mindset. And okay, where's the value in this? How long did I talk for until I actually talked about how to grow? I literally have talked for five minutes and not one thing about how to grow on Instagram came out of my mouth. Y'all, for the 1.3 million people that watch this video, can I ask why? <laughs> I used to do a lot of engagement group. Frankly, I don't have time. Let's just look. Okay, so we got a, we got comment slide. Literally right as I was about to give my tip, an ad comes on. All right, whatever. I did not do that. I think YouTube did that. <laughs> Guys, I'm mostly already engaged with a lot of them, but look, Cooper. Cooper's not followed yet. Poor Cooper. By the way, this video literally ruined Cooper's life. I do not know who the fuck Cooper is, but ever since I made this video, everybody started DMing this Cooper guy, the same script I was doing. Cooper, if you're watching this, I am literally so sorry. Simple as this, guys. Send a message and say, guys, it's so simple. I don't know why people don't do this. Hey, Cooper. Because it's creepy? I don't know. A lot of people think social media is evil. It's not real genuine friendship, but there's a lot of online friends. And frankly, a lot of my friends I have to date are met through DMs. Like my ex-boyfriend was met through DMs. Like, huh? That's not a good thing to say, Jane. Literally saying you met your ex-boyfriend through Instagram DMs is not a flex. Why did I think that's a flex? Okay, so it took me six and a half minutes to explain to grow on Instagram, you should DM people a genuine comment and start to have a connection with them. I'm not gonna lie, I still agree with that statement. Every single day I still DM people and that grows my account. So I actually agree with that. Let's put a little agree check mark right here for all the tips I do agree. I think I vibe with that statement. I just don't like the way I explained it, but it's true. I actually was saying facts. Anyways, trust me and try it out. Do this for every single person. Maybe they won't respond because they think they're big shit, but... <laughs> Maybe they will respond because they think they're big shit. No, Jade, you think you're big shit. Guys, from there, you can ask to collab. Just talk with them, just, just engage. Like so I think at seven minute mark, I explained that once you DM people, maybe hundreds of people a day, then you will have some of them become genuine friends, which you can collaborate with in the future, which I actually agree to. But let's put a check mark in the agree pile. One of the biggest ways that I grew my personal Instagram was doing a lot of these Instagram lives and I would just DM someone and interview them and it would generate their audience onto mine. Go for it. So I'm gonna show you guys maybe one, two, maybe three of my ads um, that are through Instagram stories. And I mean, here's another one. 
Um, check them out. They're just um, something I made. <sighs> I hate my energy in this video. I feel like I'm just like trying to be like nonchalant about the Instagram ads I've been running, but instead I'm coming across a little bit ignorant to the fact I didn't explain how to fucking run an Instagram ad. I just said run it. How helpful is that? Wow, I love that. All right, so I give the facts in these videos three out of three correct. I still agree with all of them. I think ads do work. Uh, let's go on to the next video. There's so many of them that I don't want to watch, but y'all might want me to react to. Okay, let's just do this one. How Emma Chamberlain blew up. Okay, this is in 2018. I think I was around 17 at this time. Yes, 17 years old. Jade, and thank you so much for clicking on- Okay, first of all, this glow up? I went from scary looking high school insecure kid to still a scary looking scrawny high school kid that just knew how to dress up. I actually remember filming this video at a hotel. I remember the first money I made on YouTube I spent on investing in the videos. So I bought like a an official set. I'm actually literally kind of proud of her for doing so. It looks way better, Jesus. Today's video today. Imagine I did that in front of all my videos. I just, whenever my audience retention is going low, I just go, Hey guys, what's up? Are you still paying attention? But this video is not for you if you're just gonna comment. You edit like Emma Chamberlain because... Just stop! But you do edit like Emma Chamberlain and you know that. Now, I don't really give a shit. Damn, I give so much more shits now. I kind of admire her for like the amount of lack of fucks I gave. Where the fuck is this badass energy? I need some of this. Okay, let's go into a part of the video where I actually give some tips. So I'm just gonna expose her right off the bat. I think Emma makes self-deprecating content. Deep down, all of us like watching people make fun of themselves because deep down, we're insecure. Actually facts, ding, ding, ding. Human psychology to this date is so relevant to social media. You could be trying your best to use all the right keywords and all that right stuff. But if you don't have that personality that clicks, you might not get the right views, which is why everyone hates me. If someone's commenting, you edit like Emma Chamberlain on another piece of content, and the person that looks at the comment doesn't know Emma, and Google's Emma, basically like her army is spreading her own message and content. That's actually facts. I think a lot of people forget the power of not just, you know, growing on social media just to grow, but cultivating a strong community. So it's by nature growing her channel without the algorithm. I agree with that statement too. Damn, I don't know why I cringe on myself so hard. Like I obviously am a cringy person in these videos and still am, but the facts I give, they're not bad. Okay, let's go to another video to see. There has to be a video I made that was just not right. Because I feel like when I was in this area of how to grow, like I rarely knew what the fuck I was doing. All right, the next video we're gonna do is how to grow your Instagram 30 minutes daily. What a clickbait title. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jade Damawanza. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Um oh, what the fuck? I literally went from stone cold bitch to smiling on camera. I don't know what happened there, who did what. I'm way more happy in this video. What <laughs> is going on? But this is the type of growth you really need to create a business or brand that will sustain you, right? I was honestly such a better speaker. Come on guys, like, did you see that improvement? I have so much empathy and love. I just wanna become a little bit more positive on these next couple of videos. Thank God. Thank God you got a little more positive because I couldn't deal with your sass, Jade. I did an Instagram live and each time I've been hitting the top live, I think in the country. So here's the thing. I basically said I grew followers from going on Instagram live and I was able to hit top live. Fun fact, I actually found out later on after this live that my friend bought view <laughs> viewers on my live page so I could get on the top live. He didn't ask my permission. He didn't even tell me until later that, oh yeah, the reason why you were on top live wasn't because of your strategies. It was because I bought your viewers and I thought it was funny. So this entire video, I thought I did something, but I actually just got fucked. Oh yeah, I, I meant to stay more positive. Okay. So I recommend to do a lot of lives by guesting people or maybe DMing a few of your buds. So my tip here apparently is to go on Instagram, you should live interview people. I don't disagree with it. I just don't think it's as simple as I said. Like I think you strategically have to like do a promotion of this interview and let people know because if you don't do preparation, people won't be able to stay tuned onto it. So I just think that it's a half lie because honestly, I do a lot of Instagram lives not to grow, but to cultivate my audience to get to know them deeper. This time it's really cheap and fast and easy because you can just go on the live. See, that's the thing. I don't like the way I said that. I don't like the way I said it's fast, cheap, and easy. It's not. Like how to grow your Instagram 30 minutes daily is a lie. <laughs> the content has to be really, really on edge or controversial. It has a little bit of tension. It really helps grow your account. It makes you stand out. That is facts. I put that in the facts pile. Growing on Instagram is all about standing out from the sea of other profiles. And sometimes you have to be on edge and a little bit uh, frisky. Let's go check out one last
last video because I am overall kind of impressed by my tips. I'm not gonna lie, I, like I said, I didn't know what I was doing at this time. When I was 16 to 17, I was posting these how to grow on social media videos. I was so ashamed about teaching people because I didn't necessarily know everything. And I think what I learned is that no one knows everything. And the minute you know something, the trend becomes absolute. Like Instagram's algorithm will change or you might change. And I think I just gave so much crap about myself until this day, I kind of stopped making these how to grow on videos because I felt like I didn't know enough. And I don't know, you guys can let me know in the comments what you think. I obviously, if you look at the past 20 videos on my YouTube channel, I just stopped creating content around how to grow. I felt like an imposter. I genuinely do have so much more to say now that I took a break. Let me know, this video gets a thousand likes. I will make how to grow videos again, but only if you want it, because I don't necessarily think people want that. Anyways, let's keep going. Okay, I think the last video I want to watch is this video. It's how to grow with zero views and zero subscribers. Must watch. This is my most viewed video on my entire YouTube channel. <sighs> let's watch this. I can't even. Okay, listen, let's be honest here. YouTube subscribers are- Okay, <laughs> you can tell that I was in the stage of my out of breath high school phase because you can tell by my stone cold eyes. It's the same fucking emotion of the first video we watched today. But nowhere in this video I'm gonna make it sound easy or overnight. That was your intention. You can click off this video. <laughs> The fucking sass. All right, good night, guys. I'll see you in the morning. Love you. Oh, we have a skit here. Yo, this is kind of funny. Okay, I can see why this got 2 million views. That's funny. Why don't I do that more? I want to say congrats to the comment winner. Shout out to, Shout out to the comment winner of this video. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. Do you think about growing views and subscribers first, or do you think about your watch time and your audience retainment? Hold up. Watch time and audience retainment? What did I just say? First of all, it's audience retention. Retainment is not even a word. <laughs> Second of all, that's false. I disagree with that statement. I think that a lot of people focus on views and subscribers, yes, but I think the right answer is click-through rate and watch time. I feel like that's inaccurate. Oh my God, my most popular video was a little inaccurate. Man, I should maybe make an updated how to grow on YouTube. Your traffic sources or your watch time is so much more- Traffic sources is not even watch time. I think what I meant to say is traffic sources are where your viewers are coming from. Watch time is how long people stay. And those are really important things to keep in mind, but they're not the same thing, which is why I'm confused why you said that. A lot of people think, oh, Jay, you just got lucky. Like, no, it's my watch time. No, you got lucky. I feel like a lot of people forget how much YouTube is luck. Like you could be doing everything right, but the algorithm slash audience might not just be there in the right time. This is where the sass kind of kicks you in the ass. Literally what I realized is my most popular video is so outdated. I think I learned so much in the span of three years, especially when I started to experiment more on TikTok growth, which you guys can follow me on TikTok. It's just Jada Mwangza. We just hit 300K, so thank you guys so much for that. But as I've been experimenting with more platforms, I realized how much I didn't know in the beginning. <laughs> Maybe I'm being hard myself, but like, man, a lot of the things in this video are changing. And I think I realized how I shouldn't be so ashamed of myself at the time and that I was just doing my best at the moment. And this was actually really fun. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I don't know why people would stay. I don't think what I was saying was wrong, but I just don't think that it applies today. So yeah, I mean, I might have to create an updated video, guys. If this video gets, again, a thousand thumbs ups, I will create a brand new video about how to grow. I won't love to do it, but if you guys want it, I will, and I'll try my best to make it. All right, thank you guys so much for watching Darmination. I love you. Subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys later.